Pierce, Big Bang O'Leary. How are we, mate? I'm good, mate. Good, good. I'm glad you come down and see me train. It's been a while, um, it's been a while since you saw me train, hasn't it? Yeah, well, well, I really enjoyed it. I mean, uh, I don't think Al Smith's hands particularly enjoyed it. You were really whacking today. I think he has ten as well out today, I think, yeah. <laughs> Especially those wild gloves on. <laughs> but you're back, right? So it's all happening May 27th, the Big Bang. Bit, I mean, it's not Dublin, but it's a bit of a homecoming for you back yeah. on Irish soil, I guess, huh? You looking forward to it? Yeah, 100%. Um, I just said Tom soil. It's that step closer mm -hmm. to Dublin. It's that step closer to getting Queensbury and BT Sport back to Dublin. Um, and I believe, I believe I will, 100%. Without a doubt, we spoke about that in the office at some point last week, um, and it was all, it was all, um, it was all in high spirits. Mm -hmm. So, getting back, um, I, I bring so many crowds back to Dublin, so it's all back to um, London all the time. And when I'm fighting on the fields, we come also because I live here, do training camp here, I spend most, spend ten months of the year over twelve here. So, this is a bit like home, but to bring all the families, get all the kids going, and stuff like that. It's a bit of a struggle because it's so expensive. But to get them all going to Belfast, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier. Are you expecting some big, big noise then? Absolutely, I'm expecting a big, big crowd. Um, I ordered some serious amount of tickets. It feels like next week I'm fighting. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm putting my perspective to next week. I'm like, oh, I don't fight next week. Oh, I've got to make weight next week. Oh, I've got to get all these tickets gone before next week. Why is that? I don't, I've just been on it for so long, man. I've just been, I've been training so hard. I'm, um, I've been told about a date in February that fell through, March that fell through. The, Mar the, the March date, what well, fell through, the card, which is this, this card that's happening mm -hmm. now. So listen, it's God's plan. Mm -hmm. Do you have to rein in your training? Because I, I keep hearing things about you training too hard. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Sometimes I come in here and I look fresh and they tell me, oh, you've been training, have you? Because they know me for so long now. I was like, well, a little blade and five mile run, that ain't gonna affect me, is it? I said, it's gonna only benefit me. And you don't want me doing it. You don't want me doing that extra kind of training. But uh, listen, you can't stop a broke man, eh? who wants it all, can you? <laughs> no, you can't. And you, it looks like you also can't stop a big bang. I mean, uh, th there was a big bang in action against Joe Joyce quite recently. It, it feels like a, a good time to be a big bang, Pierce O'Leary. Yeah, absolutely, bro. I'll bring a bigger bang, Dev. <laughs> That's what I'll do. That's my plan. Um, I plan on bringing everything. Oh, I'm all about all Big Bang, but don't bang everything. <laughs> not, like, not like him. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's refreshing to hear after, after the build-up to the last fight. How long till you're headlining, Pierce? End of the year. Yeah. End of the year, yeah, most definitely. Uh, most definitely. That's, how, that's where my dreams and my ambitions is, um, is taken this year. And um, we spoke about it also in the office, and, and they agreed with it. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your last fight then. You were... Uh, forced to go the distance in your last fight. The Big Bang didn't quite get the guy out of there. Tell me about it. How'd you look back on it? Um, during then I was disappointed because all the fans come over, so I wanted to bring, um, especially for the WBC International title I was fighting for. Um, so everything was all up for grabs, and I was, I was just like, I was going out there looking to impress, rather going out there and just impress myself. When I, when I looked back at the fight, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Making four times down check way, um, three days before it, Making championship way, um, going to ten rounds, going championship rounds, um, dealing with an off um, uh, a southpaw guy, very awkward guy, but I dealt with it all, mm -hmm. and um, to overcome all that and look back at it, I learned so much. Like if I banged him out there in, in the first second round, I wouldn't have learned as well as I'm learning. So I think that will carry on now through my career with me. Well, the next fellow that you're fighting, he, um, I don't know, style-wise, may suit you a little bit more. I think he's going to come and have a fight with you. Tell us what you know about him. Um, literally, Al and Ed, they just showed me a little clip of them, and um, they, it, it was not, not spectacular. They, they think he's a very dangerous opponent, but when I, on the night, when I bring the best person early, the Big Bang, no one's going to touch me. And I think, um, I think he's going to walk onto a shot early on in the fight. I saw a video you put on your Instagram where you, you talked about you are visualising your opponent's soul leaving their body as you were banging away on the bag. It, it, does he get that real for you? 100%. This, this is the whole business. And um, I'm not in here to play there. I'm in here, I'm in here to, to, to feed my family and make everyone around me a better life. And this is why I'm over here 10 months of the year, leave my daughter and my girlfriend at home. Like, no one else is going to do it for me, do you know what I mean? I've no one to go, like, run to and say, oh, I need this, I need that. Just me, and when I'll, I'll just go in and do what I have to do, do you know? And 
this this is this is happening now for me. This is this is all happening. So I can't overlook any any opponent. Every opponent is a world title for you for me. And um, this is how I feed my family. And my, my understanding is when you came over to the UK, you had a grand in your pocket, right? I mean, that, that's you know, for every day. That's quite a lot to have just in your pocket. But that was all you had, right? Tell us, tell us how far you've come to get to where you are today. Yeah, I had um, a thousand quid in my pocket, and um, I rode in Gatwick, and then that was it. I had to get a taxi. That was like eighty quid. I was like, right, nine twenty left now. Fuck, what we're gonna do before this camp? <laughs> so, anyways. I got through it and I, uh, I come over here, 19 years of age. No, sorry, I was 20. The day after my birthday, I come over, tells me people, pocket, backpack on. And then um, that was it. I never looked back, mate. I never looked back there. I have the 17 plate already. I've got a nice little, um, little place to live. I've um, got the best coaches around me, best people around me who want the best for me. I, I, I feel, just feel blessed all the time. It's the smallest little things that I feel blessed about. And then. Um, that's why I'm grateful and I'm, I'm always going to chase more because I know I deserve it. You're a kid with a dream, right? It feels like you are, you're sort of speaking it all into existence. You're manifesting it. Does it feel like that? Yeah, 100%. Manifest every, everything I have now at the moment. I manifest. And um, listen, it's, it's, it's all God's plan, mate. I'm telling you, it's, uh, you might rush the process. I want to rush the process, but everything takes time. And just, just be grateful and just keep walking. And it'll, it'll all come, it'll all just unfold eventually. You manifesting a big KO in front of a Belfast audience on May 27th? 100%. I'm going to listen to him. He's going, he's going out cold. He ain't going to grow back up off the ground with a 10 count. He's, there's everyone going to be jumping in to pick him up. <laughs> this is a big warning. Tell me about this. Um, I saw something on your Instagram again. One pound of every ticket sold goes to a good cause. What, tell us about this. Yeah, so uh, one pound, so one euro of every ticket that's sold goes to the NIC side by side, uh, which is for the autistic kids and stuff like that back home in Dublin 1, in my area where I grew up, and also Dublin 3. It's all uh, it's all one big huge community together, and we all stand by each other. And If there's aren't wrong or if there's aren't need to be, everyone gets out and helps to make it su- to be successful. And for me, coming from the area with disadvantages and stuff like that, and uh, opportunities that I never had growing up, and I can now get back and be be a voice for those who haven't that I feel like they have no voice. But I think it's I think it's very important for to do that. And uh, especially with the obviously the skills coming coming on holidays now, there's gonna be a lot of activities going on now and um, if we can if we can put my own money to it and um, raise awareness to it and bring more attention to it and give the kids opportunities, then why not? Very nicely said, and it's uh, it's great of you that that you are doing that. The other thing that I've noticed you're doing, have you become a YouTube boxer now, Pierce? No, I'm, I'm not YouTube, but I'm trying to come in like uh, the McGregor TV, the Embedded, um, the All Access, HBO 24/7, on Big Bang TV. <laughs> are you gonna have Zulu Zhang on it? No, nah, no, nah, I won't have him on it. He should have me on his. <laughs> I'm the guest. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Or well, what about Mick Conlon then? The main event. How do you see that going on May twenty seventh? Um. Yeah. It's going to be a fantastic fight. Lopez is a very, very dangerous opponent. He comes aggressive. He has power. I don't think he has. I, th- I don't think he has the same uh, boxing IQ as what Mike Conlon has. Um. Mike Conlon's all around. He's a switcher. He can do all dogs. He can do go so far. He can frustrate you. Like frustrate you as an opponent. So. I think he, I think he's got the experience from the Lee Wood fight. Uh, I went to press on the gas. I went to take his foot off. Um, and then yeah, j- just go out there. But it's gonna be electric. I can f- the atmosphere is gonna be very, very powerful. And um, if you're not in the SSC arena that night, you're gonna be missing out w- without a doubt. And especially with the obviously you've got the Katie Taylor bill the week beforehand. Mm. I don't think it's ever been done. Two world title fights in Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. Sorry, not the Republic in Ireland in the. In the the order in itself, the Emerald. But it's going to be powerful. And to be part of that history, it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, for those that aren't a part of your journey yet, any fans who haven't joined, tell us, why should they be a part of the Big Bang journey? Because um, my Big Bang people put people to sleep and I'm going to be in great fights. Thank you, Pierce O'Leary. Thanks very much, Seb. Appreciate it. Thanks, lads.